April 16, 1972. Apollo 16, man's fifth lunar landing, sat silently on the pad awaiting its mission. Inside the astronaut quarters, its relaxed crew ate Sunday breakfast. John Young, a veteran of three previous space flights, was commander. Ken Mattingly, command module pilot, would conduct orbital experiments around the moon, while Charles Duke explored the lunar surface. So I'm really happy to introduce to you Mr. Charles Duke, one of the 12 uh, astronauts to have worked on the moon in 19th. And uh, uh, he was on the moon uh, on 1972, and uh, in that time he was the youngest astronaut to work on our satellite. Mm -hmm. Mr. Duke, which are the best memories of your flight? Well, there are a number of uh, great memories. Uh, the first memory was the uh, liftoff, uh, the launch from uh, Kennedy Space Center. Very dynamic. Uh, the next memory I had was the view of Earth as we were about 30,000 kilometers away. And then the, one of the most exciting moments was when we actually landed on the moon. Very dynamic landing picking out a place that's level and uh, that you can land safely. So a lot going on quickly. And so the, the landing was probably the most memorable. Some years ago, I spoke with Eugene Cernan, mm -hmm. and he told me that uh, we were very lucky uh, because we lived in the uh, 1970s uh, a piece of future with uh, the moon landings. Yeah. What do you think about? Well, I agree. I think uh, looking back on history, uh, 500 years from now, the Apollo uh, lunar landings will be one of the highlights of our uh, century. Uh, it was certainly uh, uh, incredibly challenging. The first time man left uh, the, uh, the Earth environment and to land on another heavenly body was a great experience and a a great venture for humankind, and so it will re be remembered like that. Okay. Uh, it is now in the Italian theater, the movie The Martian. When we will back on the moon, and when we will go to Mars, uh, considering also the NASA budget problems and the technical problems? Well, I don't think uh, we can overcome the technical problems uh, on a Martian mission or back to the moon. Uh, it takes a political decision uh, to do these programs. So our government must decide to do the programs. When they decide to do the programs, then they appropriate the money and we can get it done. Uh, technologically, we can overcome. It's uh, budgetary problems that uh, require uh, some commitment on the part of uh, the country. So we shall see. I hope it's sooner than later uh, that we <laughs> return to the moon. Uh, and then we eventually get people to Mars. Can you make a foreseen for the years? No, I can't make a, uh, a, a, a prognosis, a, a, a prophecy. I, it's hard to say. If we commit to, the moon, to Mars tomorrow, I believe in 15 years you could get it done uh, technologically, but it's the money, it's the budget and the commitment that we don't have right now. Uh, what do you think about the growing role of China? Do you think that uh, it will probably become the next partner, partner in uh, space exploration? Uh, China has a very active space program. Uh, I don't know what their eventual goals are. I think they've said they'd like to go to the moon. Uh, they've done some rendezvous. They've done multiple people in space. Uh, and uh, with the technology they've got, I think that eventually they'll get to the moon. Uh, uh, and, uh, but in cooperate, I don't think, I don't see them in cooperation with the Russians right now, but who knows what's going to happen in the future. Uh, can you tell me something about the role of Italian industry, if you have some ideas? Well, I know that the Italians are very, very active in space. Uh, not only the unmanned satellites, but their astronauts. Uh, I think your first female just uh, recently went into space. And so uh, uh, I uh, have worked with uh, some of the uh, European Space Agency astronauts in the past. Uh, we've been friends. So it's uh, very, very exciting. 
Thank you, Charles. Thank and you. Uh, have a nice trip in, uh, in Italy and in Rome. Thank you. Delighted to be back. It's a pleasure. Thank you.